Hey guys! Pardon my crazy hair, by the way. It's not even like Hermione good hair, it's just like poofy and lazy hair. <laughs> I gotta make this quick because the Full Fox lineup is on on Sunday. And, well, it's The Simpsons right now. I can wait. All I really care about is like Family Guy, The Cleveland Show, and American Dad. All the Seth MacFarlane made things. The Simpsons are, are good right now. Oh my god, they're doing Avatar. Good thinking, Simpsons. Avatar was a great movie. <laughs> it was okay. <clears throat> Anywho. Um, yeah, has anyone noticed how fast November has gone by? It's like probably two-thirds way over now. Yep, 21st. Time is just flying by, man. I mean, it'll be December in, like, less than ten days. Thanksgiving comes first, then Christmas, and then just awesomeness. Yes. It's just, like, passed us by like that, you know? I have been working on this weekend. Character analysis for this book here. Amazing book. I loved it so much. It's love movie because I want to be an animator someday wouldn't that be so cool to be like part of that yeah <laughs> anyway Ooh. this is part of my pajamas but check this out you know who that is can you recognize it hopefully you can sorry about the glare but if you recognize who it is, then maybe I did a good job on it. She's really big on YouTube. She's absolutely gorgeous. She... I don't know. She's a great... She's a big inspiration for me. And she's British. That's a big hint right there. And I just love the way she is. She's just awesome. And she seems like a sweetheart. Well, it's Mimi Molly. Mimi Molly! And I can't wait to put it on my giant wall. Very proud of this picture. The goal, the, the idea of the whole project was to have four different sections of different types of shading. So that's, this is line. This is scribble. See the little scribbles in there? This is just blended. And this is crosshatch, really crappy crosshatch. That's why I, I made it the smallest section. Well, the smallest section of skin. Because you could just draw hair though, however you wanted. You didn't have to like crosshatch hair, it would be weird. Yeah. Well, yeah. La, 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 la. The next project we're working on in art class is a painting of an old copy. I'll show you that too. It's kind of an abstract. We have to draw- all I have is the drawing so far. There's this cute little face and eyelashes! Oh. Speaking of eyelashes, oh my god, I have a little story. I went driving on Saturday with like the driving guy. I don't know, Mr. Spandy. The guy you drive with before you get your license. Ow. I'm painting on my foot. Not a great feeling. And he- he always looks at your eyes to see where on the road they are, because I have this issue where I look, you know, too close ahead. You're supposed to look, like, really far down when you're driving, like, yeah. And he's like, I can't see where your eyes are. You're, do you, like, buy your eyelashes? They're, like, a mile long, <laughs> or something like that. He complimented my eyelashes. So lengthy. <laughs> yeah, but that meant a lot to me. I'm so glad my eyelashes appear so long. And I wasn't even wearing mascara that day. Such a great compliment for a woman. Mm. Mm. Oh, I've started reading Harry Potter too. I've already read the first one like a long time ago. For some reason I just couldn't get into it when I was littler, but now I think it's like she, you just, just, I just respect the book so much more now because she's such a great writer compared to, like, Stephanie Meyer. I mean, you know, the Twilight series girl. If you really think about it, like, 
J.K. Rowling created a whole freaking world of magic and different things, and Stephanie Meyer just has, I don't know, she just can't compare. They're so different, and her idea is so much more original. And I, yeah, so I'm on the second book. I felt, I wouldn't want to read the first one, like, again. And hopefully I can finish them all by the time the very last movie comes out. And I think I will be able to. Because I really want to see. So maybe I'll have some surprise left in it. I haven't, maybe, like, the very last section of the book has the most surprises in the last book. Because, you know, the movie just came out. The first part of the last book came out. Yeah, everyone knows that. <laughs> I'm really excited. I can't wait to see that this week. Here's some random doodle. I think I put this on Facebook already, but... Here's my old yearbook from, like, fifth grade. Get nostalgic when I look at it. Let me find my picture really quick. Yep. For some reason, I wore my hair in a ponytail, and I never wore my hair in a ponytail, but for picture day, I did... And I had a giant gap in my teeth. I don't know. It's really fuzzy, but... That's me. Fifth grade. I had a really big gap. This guy is on my Facebook. I miss those guys. Here's a good friend of mine. She was... Ooh, ooh, her! I miss her so much! Good friends, good memories. There's, there's my BFF from that time period. And, ooh, somebody I still talk to quite frequently today. Where is he? Hey, that guy. Yeah. I miss him. Dude, check out his flames on his collar. That is so awesome, I didn't recognize it. Wow. Nice, Alex. Come forward. Here are my pictures from this year, though. I don't know if I put this in a video yet. I don't think I did. There it is. You know, you know like, it's t the time of your life no one ever wants to remember. Middle school, the awkward stage. No one ever wants to go back there. I don't think. I mean, middle school was my least favorite time of my school career so far. And I'm a sophomore in high school. I mentioned this, like, remember the video I made? A long time, well, not that long ago, like when school, like the, about the first day of school. <laughs> I was just like, and that was cool. This was cool. Oh, that was so cool. Yeah. I need to widen my vocabulary. <laughs> anyway, middle school, like, you're just, you're still finding your self awareness and, like, you're getting more desensitized to older situations and, like, Peeking under your clothes in public was still socially accepted. You know, just just the weird stage where you're transitioning into the beautiful butterfly of adulthood. Not necessarily, but <laughs> you get what I'm saying. It's the transitioning year. Even though I'm still kind of transitioning, I, I'm not an adult yet. I'm still pretty young. and I still have lots to learn, but I feel like I'm so much more different than I was in, like, 6th grade, 7th grade. Totally have more life smarts, but I still have a lot more to learn.